Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 15 Steam Siege Pokemon Booster Packs. Now this is another larger opening that I'm doing on my channel. I'm going back and opening up all of these sets in the 2018 standard format. Steam Siege is one of the better sets, in my opinion, for the competitive TCG. Specifically, if you're looking to build the Volcanion EX deck. You can also pull a Professor Sycamore full art trainer from this set. Now these packs I obtained from the GameStop clearance sale. I opened up all the sealed products I bought from that sale. Pulled these packs from those boxes. So I'll get to opening these 15 packs up right now. So the Steam C set is the 70th set in the Pokemon TCG, the 12th XY series set in the 4th Break series set. August 3rd, 2016 was the official release date. And this set is based around Volcanion. This set is the first set in quite a while to introduce dual type Pokemon in the TCG. So white colored code card right off the bat here. Hopefully something good in the very first pack. Three and then two is the card trick. Like I said, Professor Sycamore is easily the most valuable card in this set. The full art's worth around $16. So the first pack here starts with a Tangela, Krogunk, Mareep, Litwick, Hopip, Special Charge, another good trainer card, Azumarill, Lampant, Reverse Solo of a Hopip, that's just a common, and the first rare here is a Gardevoir EX, and that is an EX Full Art. So a great pull and a great way to start off this opening. And that's really the risk, both negative and positive, when opening up individual packs from sealed products. You are not guaranteed anything, so you could get amazing pulls, you could get terrible pulls. There's really no guarantee. So a Mega Gardevoir cover artwork pack here. I received a comment on my channel the other day. Someone was hoping they'd make more Mega EX cards in the TCG. I wouldn't count on it, and for the most part, Mega EX cards really weren't that good. They just took too long to set up, plus you had to have the Spirit Link card if you didn't want your turn to end. Ponyta to start the second pack here. Dino. Litwick. Nosepass. Chimchar. Klefki. Captivating Pokepuff. Flaffy. Reverse Solo of a Nuzleaf, that is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a Primeape. Xerneas Break cover artwork pack here. You can get both Xerneas and Eveltal Break in this set. Like I mentioned, this set was the debut for Volcanion. You can also pull Mega Steelix and then Mega Gardevoir in this set. Oshawott to start this pack. Meryl. Ponyta. Litwick. Joltik. Braviary. Clang. Ninja Boy. Reverse Solo of a Tangrowth. And that is an uncommon. And the final card in the pack would be a Bastiodon. And I'm hoping to build a Volcanion EX and Turtonator GX deck. So this opening should help me get cards for that deck. Of course, you can get Volcanion EX in this set, as well as a rare non holo of Volcanion. That's very useful for that deck. Yanma to start this pack. Mareep. Mantine. Meowth, Larvesta, Shieldon, Ambipom, Tangrowth, Reverse Solo of a Talonflame, there we go, Rare Reverse Solo, and the final card would be a Bisharp, and there is the dual type Pokemon I was talking about, I believe all dual type Pokemon in this set are shiny versions of that Pokemon. In the Volcanion EX I keep talking about, that is a dual type EX, Water and Fire type. Green colored code card, but you still can pull a break card in the pack. Xerneas break is the break that I'd want to pull most. Mantine to start the pack. Sneasel. Hopip. Fletchling. Clauncher. Skiploom. Halucha. Tangrowth. Pulled several Tangrowth in this opening so far. Reverse Hollow of a Meowth, just a common. And the rare here would be another Primeape. Eveltal Break cover artwork pack now. Clink to start the pack. Mareep. Bergmite. Fungus. Joltik. Zwilus. Driftblim. 
Gardevoir Spirit Link, Reverse Hollow of a Mareep, just a common, and the rare here would be an Avalog. A Volcanion cover artwork pack now. And the reason Volcanion EX is so good is ability, I believe, increases damage when attacking by 30 if you discard a fire energy from your hand. A Palm to start this pack. Larvesta. Dino. Shellos. Mankey. Pokemon Ranger. Tangrowth. Captivating Pokepuff. Reverse Holo of a Samurott. There is the second rare Reverse Holo pull this opening. I have been a water type fan since the beginning. And the final card would be a Holo in a Shiftry. I do like the looks of the dual type Pokemon. Of course, I would prefer an Ultra Rare or a Secret Rare at the end of the pack. The Veltal Break cover artwork pack. I know I mention this almost every time I open up a Steam Siege booster pack, but I opened up a Volcanion Pin Blister pack, had three Steam Siege booster packs on the inside, was able to pull both secret rares from this set in that blister pack. Pretty amazing pulls there. Litwick to start this pack. Ponyta. Meryl. Oshawott. Krogunk. Klefki. Armor Fossil Shield on, Braviary, Reverse Hollow of a Drifloon, that's just a common, and the rare here would be a Druddygon. I would say we're right about at the halfway point for this opening, Mega Guard of War cover artwork pack now. Another green colored code card, but like I said, could pull out something like a Xerneas Break, it's a $6 card. Meowth to start this pack, Clauncher, Shellos. Rufflet, Chimchar, Gardevoir Spirit Link, Duat, Klefki, Reverse Solo of a Nidorino, that is an uncommon, and the rare is a Jumpluff. Taking me back to the Neo series days, I remember going to different stores, specifically Kmart, and they had the Neo series theme decks and packs there. Okay, another Mega Gardevoir cover artwork pack. I would say I can remember vividly stores selling base set through the legendary collection series of sets my dad's a sports cards collector so we'd always head to the card section when we went to different stores and i was always check out the pokemon cards if only i had the money back then and could afford those products nowadays those products are super expensive to purchase all right so this pack has tangle at a start dino chimchar rufflet Shellos, Nuzleaf, Steelix Spirit Link, Clang, Larvesta, which is a common reverse holo, and the rare is a Volcarona. So going basic to stage one, Volcarona, rare non holo. Would love to pull one more ultra rare or secret rare in the remainder of these packs, preferably some form of Volcanion EX. Would certainly take the secret rare, Clink, to start this pack. Ponyta, Ponyard, Oshawott, Rufflet, Shieldon, Swilus, Nidorino, Reverse Solo of a Galvantula, and that is a rare. I believe that is the third rare Reverse Solo pull this opening. And the final card is a Mega Gardevoir EX, and that is an EX Full Art. So now I've pulled both Gardevoir and Mega Gardevoir in EX full art form. Of course, if you're looking to build a Gardevoir themed deck, go with the Gardevoir GX from the Burning Shadows set. Speaking of Mega Gardevoir, it's on the cover artwork here. Hoping to go on somewhat of a run here in the final few packs. Another white colored code card. So the pack starts with a Drifloon, Mareep, Fletchling, Yanma, Meryl, Steelix Spirit Link, Clang, Special Charge, Reverse Solo of a Volcanion, and here's the one I was talking about. Very good move on it, Power Heater. And most importantly, it attaches a Fire Energy card from your discard pile to each of those Pokemon. And then like I was talking about Volcanion EX, it has to discard a Fire Energy card from your hand to power up your active Pokemon's attacks. So that's a very good pull. And then the final card is a Kling Clang, and that is a rare hollow. So a decent pack there. Very happy with that Volcanion pull though. Eveltal Break cover artwork pack. Two more packs left to go after this one. 
Green colored code card. Would love to pull a break card out of the remainder of these packs. Krogunk to start the pack. Tangela. Clink. Joltik. Pawniard. Shield on. Special Charge. Tangro. Reverse Solo of a Mankey. That is a common. And the final card is a Galvantula. Card I just pulled in rare Reverse Solo form. So it looks like both of the final two packs, Volcanian on the cover artwork. I'll open up this one just on camera here. I know I get requests sometimes to open that all on camera. Open up the booster pack. So a green colored code card. Card trick gear three and then two. Just moving the reverse solo and the rare to the back of the pack. Second to last pack here starts with Lurvesta, Dino, Shellos, Mankey, Fungus, Steelix Spirit Link, Nidorino, Anorith, Reverse Solo. There we go, a break pull in a Yen Mega. So first break pull of this opening. And then the final card would be a Spiritomb, and that is a rare non-hollow. Final pack here in this 15 Steam Siege Booster Pack opening. Unfortunately, a green colored code card, but could pull a break card like in that last pack. But overall, still very happy with the pulls. Alright, so the final pack starts with Meowth, Chimchar, Nosepass, Litleo, Sneasel, Ambipom, Flaffy, Fletchender, Reverse Hollow of a Sneasel, just a common. And then the final card here would be a Cobalion, and that is a rare non hollow. Of course, if you are playing the competitive TCG, Ultra Prism, very good for metal type decks. So, a card like that may become useful in the future. So lots of good cards to summarize here out of this 15 booster pack opening. Was able to pull out four rare reverse solo in Volcanion, Galvantula, Talonflame, and then Samurott. Was able to pull out three rare hollow in Kling Clang, Shiftry, and then Bisharp. One break card in Yan Mega Break. And then two ultra rares, both full art. There's Gardevoir EX full art, and then the Mega Gardevoir EX full art. So very happy with the pulls in this opening. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.